Um, that's one. I don't know if I want to watch the tape. And we shouldn't have been down 11 at half. We, we screwed up the first half. Um, you know, we did what we wanted to do, but we missed every shot. You can't have your starters go three for 27, three of your starters that you're banking on to make baskets and, and expect to win. But that being said, um, you know, we get foul trouble. We got a sub. We got to do stuff. We're not as good. We look, look discombobulated again because everybody held the ball. Instead of that ball whipping around and moving, we, everybody caught it and bounced it first or, you know, and you got to give them credit. They played well uh, in the second half. They went right after us and, um, you know, I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm disappointed um, that we did not play better because I thought we were ready to play a good game on the road. And we're going to have to prove we can play on the road. Going to have to prove at some point we can play on the road. Yes. And those guys, not, oh, I'm sorry. How can you be this deep with this many veterans into the season and, and guys act like they don't know what's going on out there? Well, again, um, we had some breakdowns. We were playing some guys that hadn't been playing that much. I wanted to go with a short rotation, and all of a sudden, Oscar played the beginning of the game. He gave up five dunks. And then uh, Kaysen gets two fouls, and now we're playing guys we haven't been playing a whole lot. But um, like I said, we, we are better than we played, and I told him after, most times you're not as good as you think, and you're not as bad as you think. Let's just hope we're not as bad as we look today. Yes. They were able to limit G Way. How were they able to do that? What did you see from them? Um, he, he was fading away on some of the stuff. And that gave uh, Bidiaka a chance to block shots instead of going through him. Um, and this kid's bothered him in the past. You know, he's seven foot, he's long. Um, I thought uh, they collapsed and he needed to kick out. But we got rattled. He got rattled. We got a bunch of guys that got rattled in the game. And, um, you know, to, even in the, the second half where we just opened it up and let's go dribble drive straight, you know, we weren't able to move and get where we needed to go. Yeah. Um, you know, I told him after, we just. You know, I can remember going to Kansas and doing what we did, and they won a national title. It's a long season. So let's learn from this and, and let's get this right. We got to start playing better away from home. Just have to. Coach, what did you think of Bradley and Sears and clearly the three-headed monster? They did good. They did good. In the end, when the game was over and they could just hold the ball and do their thing, you know, you, they're, they're able to get downhill. They got great ways of getting it off the glass. Um, they did good. Coach, you've seen a lot of one and done type guys that come in as freshmen, really ready to play. When you watch Brandon Miller, what do you see from him? He's good. The biggest thing that his, he's consistent shooting the ball. And that makes him, you got to be aware of where he is. It spaces the court, it gives the guards more room to move. He's good. Good player. Got to regroup. We got a game, I think, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Yeah, we got a game. And we got to regroup and go. Um, I just don't even know if I want to look at the tape. I may watch the first half. And again, I came in and said we fouled two guards that we didn't need to foul. And we gave up a three to Brandon, which was seven. And we gave up five dunks off of Oscar. And we're, we're OK. And uh, you know, I went back with the starters, the starter, the, and, and they didn't, we played better when they weren't in. Well, that can't be who we are. There's no way. And the other guys can play in spots, but when you try to play them 12 minutes, they're going to break down. They haven't played that much. I thought a dude did some great stuff today. But his stuff is not to be playing, you know, 15 minutes and a half. So...
I don't know. We're going to have to talk about it and figure stuff out. You know, I, I just said uh, um, we had some guys that, again, when you look like a really good player, looked like he could not play. What is that? And it's coming off a couple games where we really look good together. And um, I think when it got away and we were playing without the guys that you're counting on, it, it got harder. Now all of a sudden we're not Kentucky. Those guys gotta they gotta perform. Cal, what what what's something, Cal, that, that you and the staff have got to do better going forward to help this group? Um again, if we could figure out the mentality on road games, we're gonna have to talk it through. Um, you know, and I think offensively, again, just demanding that that ball move and we space higher. I'm trying to get guys to space higher and we're still down because it's, a, it's an easier play when you're down to try to go to the baseline. When you go middle, it's a little, so we're gonna, I think that one thing we gotta keep showing them that you can't be spaced the way we are. Um, and, uh, you know, and then Oscar, I just said, there were rebounds that he got last year, he didn't get. Many of them, he was rebounding with one hand. Well, these guys are too big and they're active. I mean, we were up on the rebounds at halftime. We were. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, you look around. I haven't looked at that stat, but um, my guess is they out-rebounded us. We missed enough shots that they could uh, rebound. One more question. John, what? with Oscar, obviously he's played 40 minutes a couple of the last couple of games. Is there any fatigue setting in there? Um. What I've been saying to him is sub yourself. And he came at me and said, you know what, uh, coach, I don't know how to do that. So I'm just going to count on you subbing me. But what happened to start the game, it wasn't how we were playing these pick and rolls. And then I'm trying to do it on the board and explain it again. And they got another lob. And I said, you can't be in. Um, I got a good group. We just got to come together, all of us, and say, all right, how do we do this? We have been good defensively. How did we break down? Was it because the score was what it was, or was it us? And then offensively, you know, we got to look at the shots we're missing. Are they makeable shots? Or do we have the wrong guy shooting? Some other guys should be shooting. Should we space it out?